Hey folks, Nick Soas number 50. We're going to talk about overlays or replacing them in a flake space configuration. And right off the rip here, I just want to let you people know that you needn't watch the video. If, you, if you're not a linear learner, you can, uh, there will be a link to this script thing that you see on the left hand side of your screen. Uh, overlays. Overlays are things that in Nix that are most typically used to gain access to like older revisions or newer revisions of, of packages that are in Nix packages. It, let's let's say you want, for example, a more recent version of CMake or or an older version of Olive Editor. These are these are things that let you get at those revisions, um, and they work really well. They're they're excellent. Um, with flakes, however, uh, you don't need to use them. If you want to use them, it's fine. That they, they they still work. Um, but flakes has arguably a slightly more elegant way to through through um, uh, through module calls through imports um, than overlays. There is some arcane spelling to it. It's it's not exactly elegant in its spelling, but it's elegant. In its, it's 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 elegant in its implementation. I think so. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is something that I use that already uses overlays. Uh, this is, this is sort of, you know, adapted from my configuration here. So in this, this is a flake.nex file that I use that, that implements uh, an overlay. And the, the overlay allows me to either grab stuff from... Nix packages 22.11 or Nix packages unstable if I want to. And the meat of it here, there's the definition of a function that takes two arguments. One is file and preview. I don't think any of them are actually used in here, but it takes them. And whatever I return, whatever I um, define within the body of that function becomes an attribute set that is then a that is then merged with the Nix packages package. So I can then access R2211, you know, packages.R2211 or packages.unstable in any of my downstream modules from this next thing. And it is imp it is enabled by including this bit of mess inside of your modules equal list. The way I the way you usually activate a set of or an overlay is to say nix package dot overlays equals and then a function up here and you can actually have multiples of them i just happen to have one of them and then i have the, the rest of my normal flakes -y things here inside of here to do various things so um as i said uh i can then once 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 that is enabled it allows me to go over to my normal you know my non flakesy configuration and i think i only have so notice that the only thing i have in the arguments list here is packages and config those are the only two things that are actually accessed in here um and in my environment system packages it is prefixed with a with packages thing here so this could be alternately spelled packages dot that that's that's how that washes out but i don't need to spell it that way because i already have the with statement in there so i don't spell it that way so but basically what it lets me do is it say lets me say you know packages dot r 2211 olive editor if i wanted to use an older version of cmake or a newer version of cmake i would say packages dot unstable cmake something like that so, um, why would I not want to use overlays? Well, that, that is fine. Overlays work fine. You don't have to disuse them. It's just that having everything attached to the, this, this packages thing that kind of gets passed around like a garbage barge is not, you know, it's, it's fine. It's nominally the same as anything else, but we're going to explore a way that lets you just pass in extra arguments to all your downstream modules uh, in their arguments list. So we can say something like unstable here or R2211 here 
you know, whatever. And that'll start to work instead of having to grab it from packages. And I've heard there are performance issues with overlays, but I doubt anyone who's watching this video would ever care about such a thing. I, I don't think we're hackers, man. We don't give a shit. To do what we want to do, uh, we need to make use of a argument to a call to nixpackages.lib.nixos system, which is what we use to define it. It's, it's in your flake somewhere, you know, it's in your nixos flake anyway. You know, note that this is, this is the, this is the after, this is the, this is the, I've gotten rid of overlays uh, view of my configuration and we no longer have a, um, a call to our overlay function inside of anywhere in our modules list here. There's a little in, at, indirected here, but in any case, uh, let me go, let me go over here. Stand by. I knew there was a reason I made this this way. <laughs> ah, okay. Here's the change version, which this uses overlays. So, uh, inside of our NixOS configurations, we have called the Nix packages lib NixOS system that defines one of our systems. And we have a modules list. Our old modules list had a, a function in it that uh, defined the overlays. It no longer has that. Instead, what it has is it has this, inherit special args. Now, side note, sidebar here, I think a lot of people correctly, uh, you know, sort of give give Nick the language some uh, a bit of a beating for being a little bit opaque, and I think a lot of it has to, has to do with the fact that you can do things multiple ways, and understand you know that inherit special args in in all these places. Uh, let's see here, inherit special args. There we go. All this means in anywhere you see it, anywhere you see it, all it means is special args equals special args. <laughs> That's it. It is it, it is way less ma way less uh, impactful than inherit the name would have you believe. All that's that's the only thing it does. Just a shorter spelling of that. Just so you know, uh, I, I I don't know what it's inheriting. I think inherits a terrible name. Whatever, whatever, man. I'm just letting you know. That's all. That's that's all there is to it. So when I say that we're passing a special args argument to Nix package of lib system. I'm saying we're passing a special args argument to that via this inherit special args thing. I probably shouldn't have even spelled it that way. I probably should have just spelled it the understandable way, but I didn't. Um, what is in special args? Well, special args here, we have a packages unstable. We have a packages arc 2211. We have a NixOS hardware a system and an input inputs thing here. So special args will have those keys. It's an attribute set with those keys in it. Packages unstable will be the imported version of Nix packages unstable. Packages R2211 will be imported version of Nix packages R2211, which we've defined up here in our inputs, in our Nix inputs. The, the, the upshot of this is that Oh, one other thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One other, one other weirdness. Weirdness of Nix is that here I say inherit inputs, and the only reason I can say that here is that I put this this little dangly thing over here, this at inputs thing, and all that means is please capture, please, please, please hand me an attribute set that's named inputs that has all these things as keys with their values in them. That's all it means. So it's it's basically instead of needing to say uh, inputs equal that and having to respell it all, you just grab it. You can you can just say inherit inputs. Got it. Woo 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 oh ooh wee.
<laughs> this stuff is uh, tricky. Trick to explain. Um, okay, so now that I've defined that special arguments thing, special args thing, and I've passed it along, well, what is the downstream effect of that? Well, we know we got rid of our our overlay, so we can't say packages dot something anymore. That's not going to work anymore. But what we can do instead, and so like here, eventually I can, I, uh, let's see, some somewhere down the line in my configuration, I cause, yeah, this file to be imported here. A common configuration for all my systems. I can say packages.r2211. Put that in the arguments list. And what that does is that um, it allows me to to use it below where I would have where I would have said packages.r2211 there. And I say packages dash because that's how I spelled it above. But I have to add it to the args list now. And and arguably you could say this is like just this is maybe the way it should have should have worked. There, there should have been some alternate mechanism to do this the whole time along instead of just, you know, tacking things on to the next packages. Uh but this this fits my brain. It seems seems reasonable. Um so now that we understand sort of understand that, uh we can see that our special args name our packages unstable, our packages are 22, Nixos hardware, system inputs. And that what that means is that any file that we import down the line, or any module, I should say, that we import down the line will be will have those names passed to it in, a, in their arguments list. And the packages we, you know, the names that are passed are packages unstable, R2211, um, Nixos hardware, system and inputs. Got it? Yep. I think that's the whole thing I wanted to show you. If you've noticed any mistakes or you want to ask a question, please add it in the comments. Otherwise, I hope uh, hope this helps somebody. Thanks.